Hey guys, Simi here from Malaysian Big Addict Blockspot.com and I bring you the Kago review today. Okay, so this is the Kago nice golden black box, okay, slim design. This is a, a budget e sig pack which is very nice and one of the best um, highly rated ones. Okay, so in my blister pack, what I got is <clears throat> two Kago. Uh, 1100 milliamp batteries, um, two CE4 plus cardamizers, charger, USB port, and the two drip tips. Okay, so that's what it comes with. And I'm just gonna take one out. I will not use these, I'm gonna save these for like some other day and just show you guys how it works. Okay, I'm gonna put it somewhere. Show you guys me. Alright, so this is it. This is the Kago. Okay, it's um, chrome or stainless steel, I have no idea. There's warranty at the back, and there's a button here. 510 connector, okay, and the output of this is, I think, 3.7 volts, okay. Because this, this is the same thing as all other Ego batteries, okay. Ego, the Kago, oops, the Ego T, the, uh, all the Egos, non-variable voltage. Um, this should be the one okay so what you do is you click five rapid five times and it'll blink and it'll turn on so you can fire it out okay and <clears throat> I'm just gonna demonstrate to you now um, uh, um, how good it is okay but first I'm gonna show you guys the size comparison this is the lava tube okay and this is the ego okay massive difference right there okay the main reason why i got this is because it's small it's compact i can use this as a spare or i can use this when like you know when you bring it somewhere like um in a restaurant um yeah you can use this but in a club okay in a club you know they always get like body checks and this will be much easier to bring than this because this you can still like wax someone like this so, probably gonna bring this as a portable one okay and it's much easier to bring around okay so I'm just gonna show you a comparison firstly I'm gonna use my book XL slow resistance uh, caramizer and show you guys how it vapes okay so first I'm gonna show you guys on the lava tube I'm just gonna um, vape it at 3.7 volts and hopefully you guys can see the vape, vapor diff uh, vape per production okay so this 3.7 volt a lot of paper okay <clears throat> now this is 2.1 uh, ohms by the way the resistance okay and I'm gonna try it on 3.7 volts on the Kago okay by the way this looks super sleek look how sleek that is okay sorry about my phone um, and okay it's gonna fire and i'm just gonna fire it out vapor production is still really nice okay at 2.1 ohms um, this thing still fires it pretty well okay Of course, this can't. This uh, you can't change the voltage for this, so it will be forever like this. Like if your juice is not hot enough, it'll still be like this. Okay, so that's the negative part of having a non-variable voltage. So now I'm gonna try the CE4 uh, caramizers, and <clears throat> these caramizers have a resistance of 2.4 ohms, so it's pretty high. I'm just gonna vape it on the lava tube. First, I'll show you guys. It's at 2.4 ohms. Okay, you guys can see that 2.4 ohms. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's 2.4 ohms. Okay, and 3.7 volts. Okay. 3.7 volts. Okay, that's the vapor production. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys how you do it. On the Kago, okay, because it doesn't look like super nice. It's okay actually. Like 
I don't mind if I have a steel steel drip tip, it will be so much better. So I'm just leave it on this one. Yeah, as you can see, there's a bit of difference in big production because this is 2.4 ohms. <coughs> it takes quite a kick to power this thing up. But yeah, it's, it does the job, okay? Flavor. This is cappuccino here. I did a review of this. This is a cola here. Both, I get very nice flavor. Of course, on the low resistance, I get more heat. Okay, this is more of a, like a mild, not cold, but mild weight. Okay, but throat hit, you still get it. Okay, so if you're looking for throat hit, don't worry. Uh, you won't go wrong with this. Just that the battery uh, doesn't pump out as much vapor as this can pump up because this is variable voltage. So, <clears throat> yeah, this is the Kago. Um, you just take a USB thingy and you just charge it. It's very easy to charge. All you have to do is just screw it in. Okay, you just screw it in. I'm just gonna try if I can charge it with your power bank. Okay, so this is a power bank. Okay, I have a power bank here. I'm just gonna try and see if it charges. It does charge. Okay, so it blinks and it blinks green means it's pretty much fully charged. Okay. So yeah, it charge via power bank means it can charge via like um, your car charger and also um, <coughs> your USB port. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up. Go to my blog for in-depth written review. Peace.